Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking on this video today. We are taking a look at Patrick Cantlay's golf swing. We're going to have a look at iron driver from down the line and from front on. So let's dive straight in. Now there's it's quite an interesting golf swing this. There's kind of a few bits and pieces going on, some really good things and a few maybe things that I'm not 100% a fan of, but Overall, he's an absolutely incredible player. I love watching Patrick play. His short game's unbelievable, and I love his rhythm in the golf swing. So let's have a look, first of all, at this down-the-line iron swing. Here we have Patrick set up with an iron. These swings are just from the PGA Championship just a few weeks ago in 2021. So super, super fresh. Also, bear in mind, before we have a look at this, it's important to understand Patrick Cantlay had to completely rebuild his golf swing just a few years ago because he had a really devastating back injury. He actually created so much separation in his old swing between his lower body, his hips, and his upper body, his like shoulders and chest, that basically this led to so much strain and pressure going through his back that he got a really, really bad back injury and had to completely change the sequencing of his golf swing. So that is something we might want to bear in mind as we take a look at this. So set up with iron, first of all. Set up position looks great. Set up pretty neutral. Looks like he's trying to hit a draw here. He kind of does move the ball a little bit both ways. Not a huge amount, just baby draws and baby fades. Uh, set up pretty neutral. I'd say he's looking to hit a draw because his shoulders do look a little bit close to his target. We'll have a look and see if this is something he does with every club or possibly just with this if he's trying to hit a draw. But everything else is pretty much lined up straight at the target. His shoulders slightly close. As we slowly take the club back, big wide takeaway keeps the club head quite low to the ground. And a bit interesting, if we pause it parallel to the ground, this is quite different to a lot of players we've been taking a look at recently. He gets the club a little bit more inside here, and the club face is not far away from his spine angle, but maybe a touch open compared to his spine angle. But overall, if we look at his body, he has started to pivot well, turn the shoulders and hips. He hasn't taken the club away with the arms and hands, but if we play this swing, slowly to the top. We are gonna notice he gets that club in quite deep, quite early, as we slowly get to the top of the swing. And this causes him at the top to be slightly kind of across the, well, kind of down the line. But it is quite down the line, or even slightly across the line, really, um, compared to a lot of other players' swings, especially what we've been taking a look at here. But that also could be slightly exaggerated if he is trying to hit a draw here. He would be getting slightly more down the line or across the line compared to laid off. By the way, guys, bear in mind that because if you saw my recent Tiger Woods video on how Tiger likes to hit a draw versus a fade, that is something we talked about. If you haven't seen that video, highly recommend you check it out on my channel. We had a perfect look at Tiger Woods hitting a draw and a fade and talked about how he likes to do each one what the differences are in his swing and as we can see Patrick looks like he's trying to hit a draw here so has the club a little bit more closed and a little bit more across the line so big if we look at the body for a second let's work our way up from the ground big hip turn it's actually interesting if you've seen some of my videos recently that I've talked about my own golf swing and some of the things I'm working on you might look at this and kind of think uh, he could be working on some of the same things that I am because his lower body, it does look like he's kind of slightly turned his knees a little bit instead of pivoting. If you have a look at Tiger Woods uh, swing videos back on my channel, he definitely pivots more. His knees point more towards the ball throughout the swing. They stay pointed forwards instead of swaying a little bit and turning. Uh, but overall, loaded into that uh, right hip nicely, big shoulder turn, big wide swing. He has that right elbow fairly far away from the body, and hands are above the shoulder plane. All things to bear in mind as we slowly play this swing down. 
He's going to shallow out the club shaft as he drops the hands, but he kind of does get a little bit, well, he gets into a good position. If we pause it here, well, just before parallel to the ground, that is a pretty good position, pretty athletic, gets the club back on plane, really nice there, good turn with the body, good connection with the arms. Notice how his hand path is now moving out to help shallow that golf club. As we play it down into impact, just after impact, we can see that it definitely looks like he was hitting a draw because that club face is already starting to turn over. And he is quite rotated onto the ball, good open chest and shoulders, not the most amount of rotation we've seen from anyone. But decent as we play this through. He lets that club face roll over quite quickly. But keeps the arms and hands in front of him. As he comes through to that kind of classic Patrick Cantlay finish position. Let's have a look. Just play this through a few times in slow motion. It's quite an interesting move. It's kind of... I can't say I'm a massive fan of it. I don't like how inside he gets the club shaft so uh, early in the takeaway and the backswing. And then, but he does a good job in the downswing of getting back into a good position. He also looks like an impact. He kind of comes through fairly flat-ish and then kind of steepens it as he comes brings the club up and in front of him. Kind of interesting that. I wonder, I would like to know if his clubs, they may be a few degrees flat in the lie angle because it does look like he comes through fairly flat-ish in delivery of the golf club but has that beautiful rhythm as well to his golf swing. Now let's take a look at the driver again. This is from Kiowa Island as well. As And at setup here, Shoulders are still a little bit close to his target line. Again, could be trying to hit a draw here or could be something he does in his setup. Quite a lot of knee bend on this one. Um, I would prefer to see those knees a little bit straighter. And posture is pretty good as well. Okay, so as we start to slowly play this swing back, Keeps the club nicely low to the ground as we pause it parallel to the ground. It's interesting here, he gets the club a lot wider, gets those gets the club head a lot further outside the hands than the iron swing we just saw. So he may have been getting the club a little bit more in on the takeaway in order to exaggerate that feeling of hitting a draw. He may be trying to hit a slightly straighter ball flight here or even a fake. As we slowly play this to the top, oh, for, but before we do that, pretty good position here. Good turn, good pivot with the body, really good position, like to see that. We can already see he's kind of trying to load into that right heel. Now let's play this to the top. We're gonna see that right elbow start to bend. Definitely gets that club a bit more up and in front of him here. If we pause it at the top of the swing, big wide swing, like to see that. There's a few things to note. First of all, if we look at that left wrist, it's a good position, good flat left wrist, but if we look at the club face, at first look, they, look to, they seem to match up pretty well, but actually if we look closer, that club face is definitely a tiny bit more closed than that left wrist. This leads me to believe that he probably has a slightly strong left hand grip because the left wrist is definitely at a slightly different angle to the club face, club face being a little bit stronger. But if we look at the right arm, the arm structure as well, gets the arms really high, gets the hands above the shoulder plane, that enables him to, well, keep more width in the swing, but also to, if we look at that right elbow and the right arm, he's able to keep the right elbow a little bit further away from the body and keep the right arm a little bit straighter. Now, different people like to use the right arm in the golf swing slightly differently. Some like to keep it more, the right elbow more down and in front of them which would typically get the club a little bit more laid off if you think maybe 
uh, someone, well, Jordan Spieth, uh, Tiger, Tiger Woods, he gets his club, the right elbow, a little bit far away at times. Um, but certain players do it differently. Scott Stallings is a great example of that. Keeps the right elbow very, very tucked in in front of him. Which will keep also the arms, the hands a little bit lower, more in line with the shoulder plane or even slightly below. So because those hands and arms are so high and that right elbow is so high, he's able to now pull the hands and arms down. The right elbow moves beautifully back in front of him as he comes down and gets the club re-rooted back onto a beautiful plane here. If we pause it just after impact, that is a pretty good position here. The hips and chest both open to the target, releasing the club nicely down the line. Really good, good solid position here. Good extension with the arms as well through the ball, keeping his spine angle, keeping his balance as well. The weight and pressure going through that left uh, left leg, left heel, left foot through the ball as he comes through to this beautiful balanced finish. And it is a pretty iconic position, Patrick Cantlay's finish position. So let's have a look at that. Let's just slowly play this back in slow motion a few times. And it's a, it's, in my opinion, it looks like a better swing to the iron swing we just took take took a look at before this. I think that may have been because he was trying to hit more of a draw with that previous iron swing. One thing I would like to mention, if you watch him as he comes down kind of onto the ball, it kind of looks like his attack angle would almost be level or even slightly down on the ball. Um, obviously with driver... You really want to be hitting up on the ball as much as possible to get maximized launch and low spin. Looks like he's hitting slightly more down on it than maybe some possible other players. But that could just be this angle. But I love the way his right arm moves from the top of the backswing. I love if you watch his elbow, his right arm movement really works beautifully to get back out in front of him, get the club back out in front of him. So now guys, let's take a look at Patrick Cantlay from front on. The first one we're going to have a look at, I think is actually from a few years ago, and then we're going to have a look at one from this week. So let's see posture setup if we pause it here good setup position we can see classic uh, driver ball position inside the left heel gets the uh, club shaft the hands are just behind that because remember he's hitting driver here he wants to be hitting up on it as we slowly play this back keeps a nice big wide takeaway if we pause it parallel to the ground Good position here, really like that. Perfect takeaway, you can copy that any day of the week as he play it to the top. Look how his shoulders are really turning, coiling. The hands and arms stay really nicely in front of him here. Has If we pause it at the top here, one note the club is not really that close to parallel. So, you know, good short compact swing and also Big, big shoulder turn, very athletic, loaded into that right side, into that right hip. We can see how much his right hip has turned back and behind him. And from this angle, you can even see how coiled up he is through that spine. As we slowly play it down, we're going to see shift onto the left side, rotating hard as he comes through. If we pause it, kind of just after impact here. Kind of a few different things going on here. He's rotated fully. You can see the belt, his belt buckle kind of pointing towards the target. He's got a little bit of bend in that left arm, just a little bit in his left elbow. And it kind of looks, yeah, looks like a, maybe a tiny baby chicken wing, but nothing major there but look how much weight he's got shifted onto that left side shifting through the ball you can see how much 
pressure he's putting through that golf ball and his swing as we slowly play this through extending the arms nicely as he comes through to that balanced finish position let's have a look at a front on angle from this week of Patrick Cantlay I think there might be a few little changes certainly to me it looks like his setup here uh, with driver looks like his feet are a little bit more narrow here than previously as we take the club back big wide takeaway here love that again pulls it parallel to the ground again love how wide he's keeping that club head away from his body and turning the hips and shoulders as we slowly play it to the top big shoulder turn again love how in front of him the hands and arms stay as we pause it at the top of the swing pretty similar to the last one big hip turn big shoulder turn hands and arms nicely in front of him looks like this may be a slightly longer swing uh, just slightly maybe that's from getting those hands and arms a little bit higher uh, above his shoulder plane as we slowly play this down they're gonna drop keeps everything very nice wide and away from him that left arm definitely starts to bend a little bit coming through the ball here and then kind of re-extends back out in front of him let's have a look at that again and play it from the start guys let's play this through big wide takeaway from the start love that keeps everything connected to the body as he turns through that left arm just that left elbow just likes to bend a little bit as he pulls down take a look again play this from the start and just note that left elbow how it kind of bends a little bit as he comes down onto the ball through with driver here let's have a look again and i also want you to note from the top he definitely looks like he's possibly hitting down on the ball with his driver or kind of a level um, kind of club path through there kind of not attack angle sorry um, doesn't really look like he's hitting up on it too much looks more kind of level or even slightly down on it as you would like hit almost an iron so guys that is Patrick Cantlay's golf swing let me know what you guys think of Patrick's golf swing pretty interesting look there with iron and driver if I've missed anything out feel free to comment down below I reply to all of your comments really appreciate you guys watching this video make sure to give it a like subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my future content and of course comment any thoughts you have down below guys I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. As always, guys, grip it and rip it.